All right, well now it's time to hook up the index page. But to do that, we're gonna need a bunch of example entries. So I'm gonna whip some of those up and then we'll get right to it. All right, there you go. Five completely placeholder-y entries that we can work with. Let's go back to our site and jump into our code editor. And inside the static HTML, we can get rid of one of these instances because we're gonna be looping. And then this right here, the A tag, this is our uh, element that's gonna be unique per entry. So we're gonna wrap a collection tag around that to fetch all of the entries from our blog collection. So create a collection colon blog tag and then come down here and close it. Now for each entry, you will get this repeated block of code and then we can start hooking up the variables. So here we're gonna add a URL, which will link to the individual blog post. We're gonna grab the image here. So this is featured image. The alt is gonna be the featured image and then an attribute from that was gonna be alt. I'll show you how you can update that in a little bit. Next, we're gonna replace the avatar with author avatar the author name with author's name today with the date that's unique to that entry and then here would be the title all right everything looks pretty good except for that missing avatar now that's probably because i didn't set it let's go to my profile and yeah no avatar so let's drop one in give that a save refresh and that is looking pretty good you can see the url is changing for every single entry that would give us a chance to link in and work on that page in the next video but before we do that let's hook up some pagination because every blog should keep getting bigger right there's a couple things we're going to need to do the first is tell it to paginate a, a certain number so we're going to do four because we have five entries it'll let that fifth one fall over to the second page of entries next we're going to need to scope the entries into another variable so we're going to call it um, posts and then this lets us have different markup inside this loop and so we can put the pagination the pagination basically needs to be inside this tag but where would it go it would be like if you included it along every entry, it would be duplicated over and over again. So we're moving those uh, entries into posts, and then we can basically just move all the stuff. Let's indent these here, posts. Okay, without doing anything else, this should look exactly the same. So let's refresh. Yep, except we have four. Let's also add a little bit of um, bottom margin there, okay? Next, we need to actually show the pagination. So we can use, uh, this is copied and pasted right out of the docs, which is just paginate, open and close tag pair. And we've got a uh, previous current page of total pages. There are total items posts. And the next page, let's just see what that looks like. Okay, so that, that this is functional. We can get to page two, get back to page one. This looks terrible uh, in our, but we can fix that with a little bit of CSS. All right, so let's let's just style that real quick. Item center, justify center. And we'll do just keep it real simple. Refresh and close. Let's put that in the Text center, MX auto, just make sure. Center everything till it goes to the center. Uh, oh, because we are, let's, um, we've got this grid mark up here. We can now put that inside here, move this up here. Yeah. There we go, let's try that. All right, now we've got that markup outside that grid HTML and we can add a little margin bottom just for now but there you go let's just go to the next page let's just go to the previous page and overall that is a pretty functional blog index now real quick let me circle back like i promised and show you how that alt tag attribute works on the asset image 
Let's head back to our collections, go to the blog post, go to one of the entries, click on edit, and now you can edit uh, your image. We can get into more details on setting focal points and cropping and resizing later, but you can set that alt text here. And that will automatically be pulled into your template. You can also go through and manage all of your, uh, well, let's just save that real quick, uh, all of your assets in the asset area. And if we went over to sailing, you would see that that is unique for that image, not necessarily for that entry. So uh, it'll be pulled in everywhere in the site.